happy solar return and happy birthday for June the 8th. Let's look at what your reading shows for your birthday. Well, you're getting, you know, you're in an upright position. You're ready to head off into the future. And I see a real logical approach to things. This is a good thing. But we're also told to look out for what? This is where you, they want you to to head out in. They want you to add a little bit more creativity in something that you're doing right now. And it relates to your occupation. Okay, so what I'm feeling, oh, is this, okay, do you want to work at home? Or do you need to change something at home so you can work more efficiently? Because this is what it feels like. Because this shows that there's like an overturning of, everything that is, you know, very stable for you. There could be a, a system that you're using in your job and you need to think more creatively about it. Maybe it's your bookkeeping. This sounds really technical, but it's what it feels like to me for some reason because of this money issue, this very, very one-sided uh, look into the logical um, side of things. And it just feels as if it's something very technical that you're so focused on. Do you get headaches from focusing on this too much? Because I'm concerned about that for you as well. And like this is your whole, like your skull, your cranium, your brain. Does your brain hurt? You know, I'm sorry to make jokes about it, but my goodness, it really is a serious type of thing. So you're very, very logically oriented, but we need for you to branch out a little bit and head toward the more creative, okay? So let's ask yourself today what you're doing that is so strict and see if you can, you know, branch out a little bit and loosen up a little bit. If you'll do that, then your future is wide open. Now, we see also that you will have a lot of wisdom. These sounds like a very, very, you know, um, common outcome. And you know what? It's the best common outcome you can get to be spiritually sound, have a lot of wisdom, and also have a very productive and lucrative future for yourself. That's what we want. This is all about money. It's all about money and your income and what you're doing in your life. Creatively also, we want to see you have a more creative input in your uh, relationships, especially your significant other, where your heart lies, your physical health. Okay. All right. Here's what I need for you to do. I need for you to logically think about your physical health too. Okay. Sometimes you are saying the practical thing is to eat certain foods that cost a certain amount of money, but you got to start thinking creatively and not worry about the money, but the quality of your food. Okay, that's what that feels like. Uh, yeah, seriously, think about the quality of your food. Okay, next month, you're going to have some sort of journey that you're going to go on. It might be within a, a long state, but it's one or two states. And there might even be some sort of ceremony that you're going to go to. So enjoy the heck out of it. There's a lot of family stuff, a lot of ancestral stuff, DNA related. So that's your family, maybe, you know, a sibling or parent or something like that. So in your past, you've got a lot of, um, maybe a lot of drama with a female figure, maybe some emotional disturbance in a very significant female person in your history so don't think that every female person is like that, but keep an eye out for personality issues and don't let that happen to you. And don't let that affect your ability to put trust in people, okay? Stay strong. You're a very strong person. But sometimes a little bit rigid. And for some reason, this rigidity is, is showing up all over this, this reading for you today. So there's something that you just will not, you know, you won't budge. You're going to stand your ground in whatever opinion or something like that that you have. And so I want you to loosen up a little bit. 
Don't judge people too harshly. Give them some leeway because you know what? You've been forgiven a lot. You don't realize it, but people forgive you. They forgive me too. And, you know, we're, none of us is perfect. So realize that people forgive us every single day and accept us for who we are. So now it's time for you to do that too. It doesn't mean you have to loosen your boundaries up or, you know, have your boundaries violated, but it does mean to just let people be the way they are. And you can still love people even if they are not quite in of the same thinking that you are. Okay. Just everybody has to be an individual. So this is a very good reading for you because I see everything is positive. If you just listen to this and your life will be so much more relaxed. You'll feel so much better. Remember those headaches. We want to see the headaches go away. We don't want to see the anxiety go away. I want you to feel good and I want you to feel grounded and I want you to feel at peace. And I love the fact that you're going to have increased income, but also be happier. You know, if you just follow this counsel today, you've got a great future ahead of you. And it's an honor to give you this birthday reading today. Happy solar return.